What is up, fam? I am Nikki, and thank you for joining me. We have 45 minutes of cycle in front of us. Now, if you didn't read the title, we got an interval reboot today. So, intervals are my favorite. We're gonna have some hill intervals. We'll have some picking up our pace intervals. We will have time to recover, so never worry about that. I always love to give you just enough recovery so that you can hit the next, next interval just as hard as you hit the last. We'll dance around a little bit because you know I love to groove. Um, but other than that, let's start talking about what we need, right? So, you got your water, yeah? We need it throughout class. Hydrate your body. You have a towel if you get super sweaty. Um, and your bike is all set up for you, right? So, handlebars are at your right height, seats at your right height, and you are clipped in. Cool, we ready? Take all of that resistance off of your resistance knob. So turn that knob all the way to the left because that's where we're gonna get started. And I really just want you to start moving your legs. Yeah? You're there? Good. <laughs> Let's get started, y'all. So again. Just let your legs roll. Push off your handlebars, big inhale, arms come up. Exhale, throw your arms forward. Shoulder roll back. Hit that again. Shake everything off at the bottom. Fingers, toes, head, neck, shoulders. The day, the week, the morning, the night, whatever it is, shake it off. Zip your abs in, rip side, reach down. Medium resistance. One, two, one, two, right, left. We're starting a little slower today. Once you're there, meet me out. I want you to close your eyes. I want you to just find your feet. Fingers light. Toes light. Feel your center and strong. Feel your ribs tied together. Now bring your hips from a little further back. Can you focus on exactly what you want out of this ride? Whether you're just here to sweat or you're here to work on something you want, you need. Whatever it is, we better ourselves, yeah? Saddle up. Drop your head forward, head roll to the right. Once you hit center, switch your direction. Once you hit center, shoulders up, shoulders down, sit a little taller, maybe back out. Let your heart rate get higher, let your breath get deeper. Two counts, we drop back in two, and one, let's go. Back, back, hook, hook. Run to me. 
Stand it up. Eight counts. We got eight. Four, three, two, count. Four, three, two, count. Yes. Eight. Six. 
Let your whole body rock into the beat.
resistance on your lightweight, your flat row, because that's where we're starting. And then you roll your shoulders to your ears on your inhale. And exhale, roll your shoulders down your back, sit a little taller. Let your legs kind of just roll. You don't have to find the speed yet. Maybe you got to hydrate, maybe you got to towel off. <laughs> maybe sit a little taller, a little prouder. Let's start to find this speed. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. It's quick. Walk your hands center. First position. Crunch. Down. Down. Good. Use your exhale. Feel your core as you move. Move your shoulders down. Crunch. Crunch. Exhale. Exhale. Four. Three. Two. Right and left. Hit your obliques. It can be so small, y'all. Never has to be big. As you feel those obliques, you can go a few inches, maybe just one. Right back center. Four, three, two, right and left, final round. Tiny, tiny. Four, three, two, hold center. Hands out. Second position. Now we're moving. We got eight counts in third, eight counts to saddle, to start. And I promise you, after this first round, we slow our legs down. So remind yourself that. What is up with this super quick pace? We start with an eight count. Four, three, two, third. Four, three, two, saddle. Quick! 
Saddle up, pick it up. 
Right here, right now. And y'all, thank you again. I'll see y'all later.